Hey everybody, Carl here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I haven't been here for a while, but I, I'm here right now. And uh, I had something that I wanted to uh, show you guys and see what y'all think. Uh, before I do that, uh, quick explanation. Uh, I haven't been on for quite a while. I, uh, to be honest with you, I, I just wasn't uh, feeling that up to it. Uh, every now and then, especially uh, change of seasons, my uh, my breathing gets a little weird, and it's just like it's unfun to do a lot of stuff. So I took a little break, but let's uh, let's hope I can kind of get back on more of a regular schedule again. So uh, and one other thing. Uh, because I haven't been at the bench as much as I normally have, either in here or in my computer desk, I've been watching. I've been watching, you know, everybody on YouTube, but I'm, I'm doing it with my TV, and uh, you can't comment when you do the TV. So a lot of times I'll sit back and I'll I'll watch a bunch of my uh, YouTube shows that I normally watch. Uh, it's probably a lot of you guys out there. And uh, and then I have to remember to go back uh, on the computer uh, to do my comments. <laughs> and it's kind of backwards, huh? I know, but it's sometimes it's just easier for me to sit back in the chair uh, and watch. So uh, sometimes I, I comment a little late, and some and if I miss you, it doesn't mean I didn't watch you. It just uh, I miss them sometimes as far as getting to the comments and I'm sorry about that because I know it is a big deal especially for you guys that are making money on this so uh, so anyway that's the that's the quick what is up kind of deal and now uh, what I wanted to do is I don't know if you can see this or not this is a uh, you might have seen them advertise they're like these uh, lower heat brazing rods and you can braze aluminum and all that matter of fact I took a I don't know if you can see that but I uh, I brazed the lid right the the pull tab back onto the lid just to try it and it's you know it's all aluminum and it's it's holding really good but this this thought came to me you know, a lot of times when we're doing uh, like radio chassis and and uh, in other projects that you have a a steel, metal, uh, sometimes aluminum uh, chassis, and you want to put a grounding area, a, a, a big thing of of uh, solder that you can ground to right to the chassis, and usually. Our, most of our irons, they just don't get hot enough because when you put it on that metal, that metal acts like a heat sink and it pulls the heat away. But, I was thinking, if these brazing rods work like I think they will, I'm going to take, I, I just, I grabbed a, an old nail. I don't know if it's galvanized. I'm not really sure what it is, but... It's some kind of, you know, it's steel metal. So what I want to do is I'm going to take some of this brazing material and I'm going to braze it onto the top of this. And then I'm going to try to put some solder on it and and see what happens from there. Uh, it would, it, if it works, and I'm going to be using my, uh, I've got a nice little... You know, mini torch here. I think that'll work real good. But uh, we'll see. I'm gonna see how I can do this to where the lighting's not all that hot. It's kind of late at night. It was so hot. I was gonna do this earlier today, and it it got so it was hot in here. I had the AC on in the other room, but back here it, it gets warm. So let's see if I can spin this. Here and go to the bench. Be right here. Okay, good. 
Okay, so here's my, uh, here's what I'm going to weld, or braise, or whatever you want. And, uh, this my, I'm going to take a little bit of rosin paste. This is some, this is some new stuff I got. Okay. <coughs> Let me put the old loops on. And... Just a little bit of this. I'm going to put this on here. Now, before I do this, too, I'm going to check one other thing. This is going to be part of the test. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, we got continuity in the metal. Now let's put this uh, let's braise some of this rod on here and see if we still have that. Now I've used this before. I don't need to wear goggles. It's not it's not that of an intense deal. So let's see what I can do here. Get some action now. Okay, that'll be good, I think. You can tell it 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 takes a lot higher heat than uh, your regular soldering, your regular solder. So, which is good because that way then we can we can dummy down as we go. Matter of fact, let me turn my. Uh, soldering iron on and uh, let that cool just a little bit. These come in so handy. I mean if you're you can use them in the lab. Uh, you can use them outside for stuff and you can easily use them in the kitchen. Uh, there's a lot of uh, handy dandy things you can do with a torch while you're cooking. So you know that that'd be an, that's another video. <laughs> You know, I don't want to come back completely as gangbusters, you know. <laughs> so let me see what we're doing this. I'll get a little bit of solder out for us. <coughs> and I'll get a little solder in there going here. Because if this works, I think this would be a, a cool thing to know. Uh, you can get these rods fairly cheap. Uh, I got mine on a uh, an auction site, like a uh, Chinese auction site, because I didn't, you know. Well, you can get them a lot of places. I think Amazon carries them, and they're uh, what do you say? They're just they're like a lower heat uh, brazing rod. Let's see if I can get some solder on this now. Not getting enough heat. Now we'll see. How much heat is it going to take for me to lay down on this? Oops, come back here. Now I've not tried this yet, so I'm doing it with you for the first time. I'm wondering. I might have to add more, uh, let me do that, I'm going to add more flux to what I, to the uh, brazing, the braised area that I just, uh, that I just did. Okay, let's see how that works. Oh, 
sure we'll find out together. It's not sticking like I was hoping it would. And what I'm doing right now is I want to see if I can do it with an iron. I think we might be able to do this with with the torch. But it seems like it doesn't want to stick with the uh, with just the heat of the iron. And I, I suppose I could turn my iron up a little bit more. But most irons, this is about the most heat they're going to do anyway, so I wanted to do it like as a, you know, not everybody has an adjustable temperature soldering iron. So, alright, let's, we'll try it with the torch. Turn it off and we'll burn the house down. And, uh, there's still flux on there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna heat this up just a bit and then see if the solder will flow. Nope, it's not sticking. So that's, well, at least we know. I might try it again with maybe some other stuff in that, but remember I, I put the brazing rod on first. I brazed it first, and I used flux with that. And then just now, I, uh, I kind of tried it with just the, the flux that's in the the rosin flux that's in the solder and that didn't work and then I put some more regular flux on it and it just didn't want to hold so okay well, that was a good experiment I you know at least now we know and uh, I thought it was kind of interesting because I there are let me get some of this back okay I can get this where okay hope you can see me there there are some really good uses for this this wire and uh, I'm gonna find them just that you know I thought that this would be a good one that maybe we where we could do it where it would help us uh, when we're trying to make uh, little grounding stations on our chassis and I think that flame would be too hot to try to, uh, like let's say you tin some wire and you try to stick it in that. It might be too hot. I don't know. I, uh, we'll have to mess with it. I'll, I'll experiment some more. But, okay. I've taken enough of your time. I wanted to make a video and kind of get back on track, you know. and Because uh, I miss doing this stuff. Uh, for you, you know, for you guys, I sit and watch everybody's, and I don't feel like I'm uh, contributing to the uh, to the community. So I'm glad I'm, you know, I want to get back on track and, and get back. And uh, I hope you found this interesting. I know I did. Like I said, I had no idea what was going to happen, but I wanted to share it with you. So uh, until later on, uh, for all you out there that have hung with me when. I, I know sometimes I'm just not there and my lights ready to go out so go figure right so I, I, I'll make this quick hey everybody uh, I look forward to seeing you again real soon 
uh, be good to one another because we gotta share the planet, you know, even as crazy as it is. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye now.